In Tears There's Truth, Chapter 13 of Show Up Confident, and page 142 if you need a reference. When was the last time you let yourself have the tears of truth? So many of us apologize for letting our tears come forward, for showing emotion in that way. And I'm going to share with you, when you can find power in those tears, you can shift your confidence anytime you need to. You're listening to the Confident Shift Podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Charles Gustafson. I'm a strategic marketing consultant turned certified image consultant, certified professional life coach, best-selling author, and award-winning international success mentor. I'm the creator of Hue and Style and run a life-changing internet business and online community where I teach growth-focused entrepreneurs, professionals, and community builders how to transform their self-belief and personal brand presentation into a superpower. Each episode, I share lessons, stories, and personal musings from my life as an entrepreneur, mentor, wife, and mom, all aimed at helping you see yourself differently so you can live a life filled with more intention, joy, and success. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump in. When was the last time you had one of those really powerful cries? You know, the ones you can't hold back. The ones and the kinds where the tears just come involuntarily. Was it in a time of overwhelm? Was it in a time of happiness, sadness, excitement, pride, grief? There are so many places where our tears want to come forward. Are you a person that pushes them back? Well, let me share with you the power of tears. Studies actually show that in addition to being self-soothing, shedding emotional tears actually releases oxytocin and endorphins. (laughs) Those are the feel-good hormones that everybody's after. And not only can those hormones diminish both physical and emotional pain, these chemicals make you feel good, at ease, and they can actually promote a real sense of calm and well-being. Maybe it's some kind of secret that crying is actually okay, but know that there's real power there. So remember when I asked you to go back to thinking about when the last time you had a good cry, some people call it the ugly cry, like I mean a cry involuntarily. I want you to think about the time that surrounded those tears. I can think of times where I let my tears fly after giving myself permission that it was okay to let them out. Happy times like my wedding, sad times like the grief passing of my dad, excited and nervous times, you know, that kind of feeling I described in episode eight, nervous sighted, (laughs) those times before stepping on a big stage in a wider venue, times where I felt I was going to be exposed, times like when I released my book and felt like I was running naked down the street telling my story. But they can also come from times of pride as well, I think of every time I watch my daughter play her instrument with emotion and passion. Yup, the tears come. Guys, in tears, there's truth. But so many of us don't pause to find out what that truth is. Many associate tears with negativity. That these are things to be pushed down in a way. No, there's truth. So here's what to realize about these tears that come. And I share it in Show Up Confident. Cry. It is a beautiful signal that you are close to the heart of your feelings as you can be. Instead of pushing it down, trying to turn them off, focus on what they are sharing with you. There is truth to your growth and your lesson. Find meaning in them. Name the feeling they represent. 
Release judgment about it and honor it. Relief, joy, grief, excitement, love. There is truth in your tears. Don't stop crying until you know what it is. The real you is trying to get out, folks. It's trying to tell you something important, moving, or monumental. What would you do if you just sat with those tears and listen? So here's what you can do when those tears just won't stop. Ask yourself two new questions. What is trying to be released here? Ask yourself that little self inside. And what truth is trying desperately to release itself? And I'll give you a hint. It will be a very simple answer with not much explanation. It'll feel like a grade five expressing how they feel. Then let the feeling be there. These tears happen a lot to the women I mentor. As they move through a process of confidence building and energizing and revealing to themselves what is next, we move through these feelings and these tears through a process of what I call magic confidence building journaling that uses a very specific process with a very tailored journaling prompt to get to the heart of those feelings. And the heart of those feelings is really the answer for what will help you show up next. So for you, who's listening, who's not sure where to start, start with the tears, the truth that they're sharing with you, and let the judgment of those tears drop. Instead, wait for the calm, the release, because behind the calm and the release are all the answers you're looking for. I hope that helps you. Take care for now. See you soon. Thanks so much for listening. I know you can tell that I believe that a strategic image and a confidence mindset is something everyone who wants to make an impact needs. A shift in confidence can change your life. Using my degree in marketing strategy, expertise in personal branding, and my creative self-development process, I've helped thousands shift their confidence, starting with how they see themselves in the mirror, in my signature Hewan style mentorship program. You can explore my book, Show Up Confident, explore how I work with my clients, and see their amazing results and breakthroughs too. It's all at hewanstyle.com. Join the community and start to see how making the image, mindset, success connection can create a breakthrough in your life too. I can't wait to see you there. Bye for now.